It seems the tables have turned again. Microsoft. Not really. Bye. The little bastard. See what I care. See, when you guys told me you had a plan to break me out, I didn't think that plan would consist of solely dropping off a little spoon and expecting me to dig my way out of here. It's not much, but it's more than you guys have given me in the past few months. Huh? What do you mean you need the spoon back? For your goddamn drugs? Are you for- Oh my fucking- Fine, just take the goddamn spoon. You can give me some chips in the meantime. Put half of this back. I'm actually taking more, Recky. Fuck off, bubble. Seriously. Fuck at that. They were chicken chips, I don't even like those, but I don't give a fuck. Today was a day I was expecting Xbox fanboys to provide the salt. I was really hoping that some of them would make the most retarded statements you could see on the internet, and I could make some money off it. Cause you know, that's my hustle. It has to be until I'm broken out of prison anyway. Unfortunately, I couldn't find enough Xbox fanboys who actually gave two shits. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. And that sounds kind of harsh to say, but when you consider the purchase Sony made and the terms they agreed upon, you can start to see why not many people gave too much of a shit. As a matter of fact, I think uh, Bungie is the one who won here and not Sony. Basically, Sony purchased these guys for 3.6 billion, but that deal will continue to allow them to operate independently and publish games on whichever platforms they want, which is honestly a fucking amazing deal for Bungie. I don't know how these guys have done it, but they basically just took out their cock and balls, dropped it on the table, and Sony said, okay, this move benefits everyone because Destiny and all future Bungie content will continue to remain multi-plat. Nobody has a reason to be fucking salty. However, that being said, what is fucking hilarious is not just the hypocrisy of the PlayStation fanboys, but the fact that many of them seem to believe that the purchase of Bungie now meant Sony owned Halo. I, I couldn't make this shit up. I couldn't make this shit up if I tried. I'm sad that I lack the talent to make this shit up. So PlayStation about to make a better Halo? Anyway, I tried turning in my letter of resignation today, only to realize that uh, I never signed any papers and I'm still stuck in prison, so I have no escape from this. I don't know, maybe I could slice my throat with a piece of paper. It's worth a shot. Anything to escape this pain. See, losing brain cells through drugs is quite pleasurable, but losing brain cells through PlayStation fanboy tweets is painful. It's basically the equivalent of putting a bag over your head, only your punishment is you don't get to die. Ponies swear up and down that this bungee purchase is the best thing ever since sliced bread, yet not a single one of them actually knows what bungee owns. I'll give you a hint, they own one IP, okay? One. Bungie ain't made a Halo game in well over 10 years, and they never owned Halo to begin with. So way to go for the ponies, who are basically celebrating something they don't even fucking understand. I've come to terms with the fact that PlayStation fanboys are basically the boomers of gaming. 90% of the time, I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. Quite behind on their knowledge of where the industry's at right now. I mean, for fuck's sake, they probably don't even know that the majority of the original Bungie that helped make Halo isn't even there anymore. Breaking, Sony is buying Bungie for 3.6 billion, but it will remain a multi-platform studio. Hehe, <laughs> perfect! You want to keep getting Halo on Xbox? Keep caught on PlayStation 2! out of his way to delete his own goddamn Twitter. Holy fuck. You know, that may have worked back during a time when we didn't have screenshot technology, but that shit's built into everyone's fucking phone. Dear Christ, maybe PlayStation fanboys really are the boomers of gaming. Did this motherfucker really think to himself for a single second, oh, there's no technology where they can capture an image of this? Bruh, that shit's gonna be blown up to 18K using DLSS. Holy shit, all the ponies are doing is proving to everyone else that they don't actually know what the fuck they're talking about when it comes to video games overall. They don't actually keep up to date with anything outside of PlayStation. What seems like a simple mistake anybody could make really isn't. The only way anybody could make this mistake is if they were below even a casual gamer. The next Halo about to be a PS5 exclusive.
can't wait to play Halo on PS5! LMAO! Halo on the PS5! Halo on PS5? I'm sorry, but exactly how in the fuck did anybody expect me to harvest some Xbox fanboy salt when this shit was flooding the internet? The amount of people who proclaim to be gamers and are yet so out of the fucking loop boggles my mind. But definitely not as much as the dumb fucks who spent the majority of the past five to six years downplaying Halo saying it's trash, irrelevant, and dying get a massive hard on on just the thought of Halo possibly being on PlayStation, even though this purchase was never close to making that a possibility. So, at Xbox, now that Sony owns Halo, when you want to join me in the game on PS5? Way I see it, he's only got Tim Sunset. Microsoft owns Halo, not Bungie. That didn't stop Xbox reps from posting pics of Crash Bandicoot from their Blizzard acquisition. Halo was first produced by Bungie! Oh my god, who the hell cares? Holy fuck, even after being corrected, this jackass still wants to try and catch a desperate dub. So what's he gotta do? He has to double down by trying to bring up... What? That the executives have a picture next to Crash Bandicoot? Are you guys seriously still haunted by that Aaron Greenberg photo? Is it still living so rent-free in your head? For the love of God, it's been a week. Get the fuck over it. Horizon Forbidden West is right around the corner, and yet these motherfuckers were all more excited for the idea of Halo being on PlayStation. Bravo. These guys now all of a sudden think that just because PlayStation bought Bungie, that now means PlayStation gets credit for the creation of Halo Combat Evolved. For fuck's sake, if that's how it works, the next box created all of Bethesda's IPs, I guess. Breaking. Sony has announced they are acquiring Bungie for 3.6 billion. They bought Halo. LOL. Sony just had to one-up Microsoft by getting Halo. Which company owns Halo now? I cannot believe. PlayStation fanboys are collectively celebrating a developer they don't know jack shit about. This was like when Sony bought Bluepoint and Housemark and Nixies and PlayStation fanboys had absolutely no idea what any of those guys did. It's about celebrating acquisitions when they're done by PlayStation and crying monopoly and unfair when Microsoft does it. Spending so many fucking years pretending not to give a shit about Halo only to get the first boner you've had in years because you thought Sony now owned Halo is quite possibly the biggest flip-flop I've seen PlayStation fanboys commit. But now every day we can remind them to their faces that we know deep down inside they all really wanted Halo all along. PlayStation first party developed banger. Well, first off, I don't know how to tell you this hyped, but Sony themselves said Bungie will remain a multi-platform publisher. So no, not only are they not a first-party studio for PlayStation, it's not even the original Bungie that helped make the original Halo. The majority of that Bungie is with 343, along with the whole goddamn Halo IP. No, Sony doesn't get to take credit for Halo Combat Evolved, no matter how much you want that. But I'm a little curious, when did you suddenly um, decide that the first Halo was actually a banger and a very good game? Because I recall less than two years ago, you said, The first Halo is dog shit made by a mediocre studio, but what we expect from Xbox and Bungie, exactly nothing. Niggas ain't got me in no fucking camera. This is the clearest video I've ever seen. This is the most HD shit ever. This is 4K! How did they get you in 4K? That ain't me. Need I say more? Need I say more? I mean, a part of me does kind of feel bad for Hyped. Xbox caused them some permanent brain damage. The minute Microsoft acquired Blizzard Activision, this man got on his knees and started begging to PlayStation to buy Rockstar, buy Epic, buy From Software, even tagging at Tim Sweeney. The man was clearly suffering. I don't know exactly why PlayStation fanboys sit there and act like there's so much more to play on PlayStation and the games are so much better, yet they're still going out 
getting on their knees and begging for acquisitions. It just doesn't make any sense. A platform so rich with content shouldn't have its fan base going out and begging like they have nothing to play. But just when you thought he was done flip-flopping, motherfucker couldn't resist. Don't let these bots downplay the Bungie acquisition. Last year they were begging for Bungie. Bungie CEO had to debunk rumors not once, but twice. Oh, how admirable of you hyped to come out and be such a huge advocate of Bungie in the first Halo. I never knew you actually cared this much about them. Isn't that sweet? With Housemark, Blue Point, Fire Sprite, Valkyrie, Nixies, and now Bungie acquired, I think it's safe to say that Bethesda acquisition has been answered. For the love of God hyped, put down the goddamn crack pipe, let go of the coating, and stop snorting glue while you're at it too. Look, we get it, you're a hypocrite. The minute you see the opportunity to get an imaginary dub over Xbox, you pounce on that shit and don't even bother to think twice. Because in less than one tweet, this man went from hating the ever-living shit out of Bungie to now holding up Bungie as an equivalent to Bethesda. Are you fucking nuts? I get capping for shit is what you're all about. You flip flop around a lot more than the heroin addicts that usually OD by the bus station. This is just an insanely embarrassing cap, but we still got yet another hypocritical take from a fan favorite. Destiny over crash. Hashtag sorry not sorry. Hashtag bungee. <laughs> Keep in mind, this guy called the Activision Blizzard purchase a nothing burger. And I'm starting to realize why. I think Lucas legit believes Crash Bandicoot and Call of Duty is all Activision has. It's all starting to make sense now. Which would keep in line with the theory that PlayStation fanboys are the boomers of gaming and have absolutely no idea exactly which studios any of these publishers have. Bungie legit only has one game right now. One fucking game. And it's going to remain multi-plat. So I gotta ask, Lucas, if Activision, with their insanely huge IPs, is a big old nothing burger, what does that make the Bungie purchase? Bungie, even as a multi-plat studio, is a massive asset to Sony. It is a big deal. It's just not exactly the kind of ammo that's good enough to compare to anything from Activision. In all honesty though, Destiny is simply one of the many multiplayer markets Sony has yet to expand upon. It's just so ridiculous how little PlayStation fanboys know, yet pretend to act so informed in their little Twitter discussions. Shit was so wild, people had to write an article explaining if Sony owned Halo or not. I can't believe people have to write an article informing people if Sony actually owns Halo. Fucking wild. The massive shift that happened in less than an hour. And then the shift that happened again afterwards when people found out, no, PlayStation won't be getting Halo. Then it was straight back to hating on it. Yeah, well, I'd hate you even if I didn't hate you. In all honesty, PlayStation fanboys could have done themselves a huge favor and just shut the fuck up today. Honestly, was it really so hard to just take this W? Sony purchasing Bungie is a W. It's a pretty big deal. But no, many of them thought Sony was doing this to counteract Microsoft's purchase of Activision Blizzard. But that's not how shit works. These purchases are long in the making. They happen over the course of a year or years. This isn't something Sony just planned to do in one single day. So the ponies gotta quit acting like they have to participate and suddenly start capping for these companies that they talk so much shit about and trash their games. It's fucking ridiculous and downright embarrassing to be quite honest. Let it be known that PlayStation fanboys for a brief second, it was short, but it existed for just a brief Second, ponies capped for Halo. Let us never forget. And with that being said, don't forget this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you so choose to. And I'll see you bitches in the next video. <laughs> Free Congo sucks ass.